Oui. Ina ina semi success. Eh. Oh. Because sa, sa. Eh. Okay, okay. Sa. So, eh karibu sana. <coughs> eh tunataka leo tueleze mambo ya yale tulipitia last time then tuingie eh, kwa hii ya Manitoba. Okay. Yes, you can start by introduction, uh, recap your past event then we end Ah, uh, Abarienu, hi guys. Ah, uh, Santi sana kwa kuni host hapa Mutembei TV. Ah, uh, mimi naitwa Joyce K na ninaishi Canada, but mi nimezaliwa Kenya. Mshanijua by now. Ah, uh, so nashukuru sana kwa hii opportunity ya kukuja hapa kuelezea tujue the many pathways zenye ziko za kukuja Canada. So thank you so much Mutembei TV. Uh, last time tuliongea about tuliongea last time about uh, vile uh, mtu anaweza kuja hapa as a visitor then ukifika hapa as a visitor unaweza convert to so many other things unaweza ifanya ikuwe unaweza tu ingia unaweza tu utafuta job ukishapata job na uko nayo then after that now you can go online and apply for work permit so ukiwa na work permit now you can you can work and once you work for at least one year under work permit uh, then you, you qualify to apply for permanent resident enye tulisema ni uh, ni nini enye tulisema ni ni kama ni kama green card ni kama citizenship but si citizenship bado ni green card tu yeah so that is i think that is the easiest way coming to canada as a visitor hiyo ndio the easiest way so that wale watu wananiuliza maswali uh, mtu hajasoma sana maybe ulifika class 8 na you can afford kulipa ticket ya kukuja canada na kuka then this is an opportunity for you because when you are planning to come as a visitor hawaangalii masomo yako all that they need to see ni that you have financial capability uko na pesa ya kukusupport hizo wiki mbili zenye uta visit and then pia wa, wanataka pia wajue uko na enough reasons za kurudi nyumbani so kama uko na business yenye ina run uh, na pia kama uko na company especially people who are operating companies back home that is enough reason kuambia canadian government utarudi kenya because wanataka nga proof that you will go back to your home country when you come to Canada, usianze kuambia oh nataka nikuje alafu ni nitafute kazi. Hapana usiwaambie hivyo. So always waambie that uh, unataka kukuja and then urudi after 2 weeks. So one of the reasons uh the, zenye unaweza one of the reasons zenye unaweza unaweza sema that utarudi nyumbani one of them is is here is hiyo ya kusema ati <coughs> ati utarudi uko na company uko na company then you can prove those documents pia unaweza toa tu to titles kitu kama title ni mzuri kama uko na to tenders kwa government hivi if you have got tenders from the government then that is a very good opportunity ya ya ku apply ya ku apply because sasa hiyo inaonyeshana that you, you have got future tenders za kusupply. So unaonyesha Canadian embassy that ah siendi kukaa hiyo nchi yenu because mimi narudi Kenya kumaliza kusupply hizi tender. So those are some of the reasons or supporting documents that you provide. Kama uko na title, kama uko na nyumba, peana hizo documents. Kama uko na watoto unaacha nyumbani na pia family, you also have to provide and proof that when you're in Canada, your family tries to support. So to prove maybe you can put some money in your wife's bank. Ama mweke joint account so that useme when I'm in Canada, my wife has got access to my account. So that whenever she wants to provide for my kids, she can always access my account. So iyo ni enye tulisema last time. Nimeona mtu wana to watch from South Africa. So sijui kama anasikia kiswahili ama ni English. Motembei. Hata mimi sijui. Unajua nimetoka na watu kwangu nikawaleta huko. So sijui kama kama anasikia Kiswahili. Atatuambia. Does anybody here have a problem hearing Kiswahili? 
So if we have got people who don't know, who don't understand Kiswahili, then you can let us know and we are going to switch to English because everybody in Kenya can hear English, but normally we talk in Kiswahili. But in case we have people talking in English, we are okay, we can always switch. So guys, even what tunasema, na leo tunaongelelea kuhusu vile mnaweza come another pathway akukuja Canada tumesema mingi sana but today tunaongelelea kuhusu vile unaweza come Canada especially to a province called Manitoba because i like Manitoba because it is very easy people say that it is very easy to go to Nova Scotia but me i know that uh, it is very easy to go to Manitoba because you just need to know somebody then uh, once you know somebody yeah, let us know where you're watching us from Narok Yes. So once you know somebody in Manitoba, that is all you need. Well, that is all you need. So ukiwa unajua mtu Manitoba, that is an easy way. Utaland vizuri. So maybe we can start having questions in case you have got questions and that could pause. Then uh, we are going to, uh, to attend to them. The way you can come to Manitoba province, Canada has got like 12 provinces and Quebec kwenye wanaongea French. So kama unataka kukuja Canada and Manitoba uh, unafaa uangalie nini? Unafaa ufuate u, u, apply job kwanza. Okay? When you go to to the job banks job, job banks za za nini? Za province utapata jobs. So uh, Ukienda kwa hiyo job banks, go ahead and apply for, for jobs. Then uki apply for jobs, upate job offer, that is all you need. Story ita move to vizuri. So, nasemanga zile job mzuri za ku apply ni zenye ziko kwa provinces because uko wezi pata scammers. Wezi pata scammers. Those guys who are watching us outside Kenya, let us know whether there is anybody who cannot understand Kiswahili. So that we just, we want everybody to benefit. And I know I came with some people from my, my channel, which is Joyce K Canada Content Creation. If you, are, if you also want to start YouTube channel, if you want to start YouTube channel and you want to do business in YouTube, I also have a channel that I teach people how you can do business in YouTube. It's called Joyce K Canada Content Creation. You can join us. In case you came from there, let us know. So guys, here we are giving people opportunities. Kama saizi borders zitafunguka next, uh, on, on the 22nd. So once the borders open, uh, Dalvin, do you understand Kiswahili? Because I can see somebody from Sudan. Do you understand Kiswahili? South Africa, I can see Sudan. Let us guys know. Let us guys know whether you can understand Kiswahili. Okay, so because I know that there are some Kenyans who go to live outside Canada, outside Kenya. So that's why I'm asking whether there are people who don't understand Kiswahili. Oh, oh my goodness! You don't understand, Nifty. Okay, so then we are going to speak in English so that everybody can understand. Guys, and remember to subscribe to Motembe TV. He, al he always does his news in English. So you can go ahead and subscribe to his channel also. Um, we are saying here that you can come to Canada. You can come to Canada. And there are so many pathways for coming to Canada. Uh, and one of them, today we are talking about provinces, how you can come to the provinces. Canada has got 13 provinces, actually 12 because Quebec is, is on its own, because they speak in French. The rest of the provinces, they don't speak in French. Guys, when you're coming to Canada, you don't have to speak English, and you don't have to speak French. Do you know, I, I meet with so many people from, um, you know, I meet with so many people here in Canada, and they tell, when you try to talk to them or ask them a question, they tell you, me talk, me not talk English. That's what they say. They say, me not talk English, me not talk English. I don't know. <laughs> they don't know English and they're here in Canada. So don't down look on yourself in case you can find, oh, thank you from Somalia. Oh, you guys are boom. You guys who came following me here, 
I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. In case you're coming from my other channel, let us know where you're coming from, whether I invited you and you came. Then I can know I have got true people that are my good friends. So Canada, you can come. You can come. You don't have to speak in, in uh, English. If you, can, if you have got a good bank statement, come. Come. Come and, 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 uh, and visit. Once you visit here, the rest is going to be history. So come and visit. We are saying people should come and visit. And not only visiting. On my channel for immigration, JSK Canada, JSK NAS Canada, that one is for immigration. I talk about so many programs for immigration. And in Canada, we have got more than 80. Okay? More than 80. We have got more than 80 uh, programs, all pathways for coming to Canada. Oh, somebody is asking me which kind of jobs. Yeah, guys, that, oh, Motembei, I entered with the, <laughs> with the content creation channel. It's okay. Uh, jobs, Emmanuel, I know you're asking about the jobs. Which kind of jobs? There are all kind of jobs in Canada. All kind of jobs. When you go to my channel, you'll find that I have advertised jobs for drivers. Uh, and the drivers are coming, are doing the interviews in September next month. Online interviews. They're doing them next month on September. I have also done videos on how you can come as a nanny or house home support worker, nanny. You can come to live with somebody here and work for them. So there are so many jobs. Once you're here, when you come here as a visitor, look for a job. Try to look for a job which is more permanent. Don't look for a seasonal job because I know there are jobs that you can work in the snow. There are other jobs that you can work to pick berries and all that. Last week, guys, Last week I went looking for I went looking for for a place for my kids to play football and I went and I found some men who are playing football somewhere in the field and I decided to go and say hi to them and ask them can, whether my son can join the football club because it is an open area space and now it's summer it's it's not cold so cold so I went and I found a Kenyan I found a Kenyan guy and then I asked him how did you come to Canada guess what that guy is going to give us i'm going to host him on my channel for immigration next week and he will come to tell us how he came to canada it's so interesting he only has got class 8 education and so he came here with a program they were coming to plant trees they came to plant trees here so there was that program for coming to to plant trees then once you are here you change the story so that one, he came in 2019. He's going to tell us whether that program is still there. So I'll host him next week, the one for planting trees. And he's a class H liver. So I'm telling you that always keep your ears open. Keep your ears open because anything can happen. Like right now, I know they have got a problem with, um, they want people, they want more people in Canada. So if you can find a way of coming, uh, we also mentioned about people who are in states. In case you're in the U.S. and you want to come and visit Canada, go and watch that video I did with Mutembe. You can cross the border. I know the U.S. has got a problem with long waiting for, for getting Makaras. Look for a way to come to Canada because Canada is easier. Canada systems are very fast. So there, there are so many ways for coming. Oh, hey, Chess, I remember you. Oh, you followed me here. Thank you so much for following me here. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, guys, those are some of the opportunities that are there for coming to Canada. I want to hear questions. Let me know your qualifications and whether you'd like to come to Canada and how I can help you. Oh, thank you so much, Skyview Smiles. You followed me from my other channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I love you so much. We are a team. We are a family. Mutembe is our boss. So we are following him wherever he goes. If he comes here, we follow him. Wherever he goes, we follow him. So, guys, thank you so much. Let me have your questions if you want to come to Canada. Uh, if you want to come to Canada, let me know how you, you, you want, you need me to help you. If you come to, like now, if you come to Canada and you're stranded, you need accommodation. Uh, you need, 
you need to you need to you need to contact me because like now i have got five rooms somebody called me i have got a, um somebody who looks for like a broker who looks for houses for people he was telling me he has got like five rooms in toronto the the cheapest one is 500 then he has got for 700 750 800 500 Canadian is like 40,000 Kenya shillings. So in case you're coming to Canada as a visitor, you can look for me. Then I can hook you up. Because remember when you're going to a different country, a foreign country, you don't know where to start. But at least when you know me, I can help you look for a house. Well, if you're coming to Toronto, Ontario, any part of Ontario can help. I can even pick you from the airport. I always say that. I don't have a problem. I can just drive to the airport, pick you if you need my help. That is why I'm here. Um, diploma in land surveying my last year. I did IELTS Nikapata 5.5. What should I do? <coughs> land surveying. Have you tried coming as an international student? And guys, not only about Canada. I also talk about many other countries. When you come to my channel, you'll find that I have done videos for, for all of them. Like tomorrow, tomorrow I have a video that I, uh, how you can come to Canada under cruise, cruise ship. That, those are the people that come under ship. So you can get a visa for, for cruise and then that way you can come to Canada. And that one is also very easy. It's very easy because it doesn't require a lot of education. So that video, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Make sure that you watch tomorrow's video. So I'm not seeing any questions. Oh, kindly, are there mechanical technician jobs? Yes, there are there so many of them. But you need to find something called NOC code. NOC code is a code, is a code that is going to describe your skills. So when you find that NOC code, I have done a video on that. Then that NOC code is the one that is going to guide you into finding what is your area of expertise what is your area of your skills so you need to go and check on that uh, oh thank you so much thank you so much jacob ajanga thank you thank you thank you i appreciate a lot thank you oh visitors thank you sky views smiles Switching from your visitor's visa to working visa is the easiest. I said coming to Canada as a visitor is the easiest way to come. Because all you need is just your visa. And then once you're here, you look for a job. You look for a job. You need connections before you come here as a visitor. So that <coughs> once you get your visa for visitor, let me know. Let me know. Then I'm going to post it on the i'm in so many groups for kenyans on whatsapp and they keep advertising for jobs anytime they have got a job they always advertise it so i'm going to uh, to post there in case you're coming here as a visitor and i'm going to ask people for if they have um, any opportunities and then by the time you arrive here you have a job and be, even before you start that job you go online and then tell them that i got a job can i change my visitor's visa to working visa and then they're going to give you a work permit yes most employers want to come to akohapa that is why i'm telling you come as a visitor come as a visitor come as a visitor and the way to come as a visitor you don't need any invitation from me you don't need any invitation or oh, how much pay? i'll answer that question you don't need any invitation for me from me all that you need is um is a is a tourist visa a tourist visa you don't need my invitation you just need to locate the place that you need to come and visit once you locate that place that's all that you need that's all that you need once you locate my uh, the place to come and visit that's all that you need there are also other ways of coming to visit in case you have got a relative here they can invite you also in case you have got um in case in case you 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 can also come as a for for conferences church conferences there are so many of them you can also look for conferences that are related to your job 
okay? If you are a teacher, you can look for conferences for teacher. They are always there in the course of the year. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You can also look for conferences. There are so many conferences that you can you can apply to attend. Then so once you're here, then then the rest is going to there are some you even when you come as a visitor, remember you can you can claim asylum. You know what is asylum? Asylum is claiming for your refugee. So you can tell the government that my home country is not safe for me in case it is genuine. It has to be very genuine, guys. You cannot lie. Because you are going to be required to provide evidence. So that when you say that you are scared of going back to your home country, maybe because of uh, maybe because you are gay or you are a lesbian, you are going to prove that by saying that, oh, there's a day some people came to my house and they ganged me and they they almost killed me and I went to the police. Then you have got those obese reports from the police. That's all that you need. So, yeah. You can come. As a visitor, you can come through so many other ways. How much do they pay? For the manual jobs, the minimum wage is uh, $15 per hour. $15. In all the provinces are different. But where I live, I live in Ontario, it is $15 per hour. It is $15 per hour. And you can work 60 hours per week, up to 60 hours per week, 40 to 60 hours per week. So those jobs are there. The jobs include, uh, you can work in, in, the, in the hotels. You can do jobs for taking care of the old people. <laughs> Uh, there are so many type of jobs that you can do so many yeah you can do so many jobs uh guys remember there's a video i did last this week i think on wednesday on my immigration channel it's called joyce k nurse canada I did a video on people who are in Dubai. You guys have been crying to me who are in Dubai and Qatar. If you're in Dubai or Qatar, just go and look for those agencies. Then they are going to bring you to Canada. They are there, but they need you to have at least some skills. Two months training. When you have got some training, maybe in hotel, maybe in barista, you know, serving those coffee and all that. If you have been trained as a nurse aide, maybe as a caregiver you can go to those agencies in dubai and then they're not the good thing with them is that they're not charging so much compared to the other agencies that i know these ones are only charging you i think two hundred thousand kenya shillings to get you a job and to get you a visa because remember most of the agencies they don't get you a job most of the agencies are very arrogant they tell you we are we don't do the work of getting you a job but the ones in Dubai and Qatar, they are getting you a job. And I know somebody who came to Canada through them. So you can go and watch that video I have done about jobs in Dubai and Qatar. Guys, there are also jobs in Germany. I have done a video on jobs in Germany. Germany, they need you to be between... Uh, no, 19 to 28 years. We are encouraging them to go to Germany. After Germany, and then once you're there, after you work for one year, you can go back to school there. Germany is as good as Canada, guys. It's a good country. So let, ha let us have some of us going to Germany so that to tour jam. German, in case you know anybody who is between 18 years old and uh, 28 years old, let them just go and learn Germany. The German language. Let them go and learn the German language. And it's in Nairobi, it is done at Goethe College. Goethe Institute. It's near University of Nairobi. It's near Kemu. You know Kemu Towers? Yeah, it's near Kemu, Kenya Methodist University. So it is there. So where there is a, you know where the HELB offices are? HELB. Alio for Francais is just there. So you can go there and do and do Germany, German language for two months. Then after that, you just need to be fluent. There's a lady 
who who has done this process for two weeks. Mutembe, from the time I started uh, announcing with um, Sally, there's a lady that ran. She ran with it. She went and and she went online. She looked for a family. She found a family, and the fam family has sent her an invitation. And next week, she's going to the Germany embassy to to get a visa. Those are three weeks. In three weeks' time, guys, she's already flying to Germany. And you know, the good thing about Germany is that they are going to to send her the, the ticket and all that. And even coming from Germany now to come to Canada is going to be very easy because you have already left Kenya. Don't just stay in Kenya waiting for, for, for I don't know for what. Do something about yourself. Even going to Dubai, it is worth it. Go to Dubai, go to Qatar, go to, go to Germany. Don't just stay in one place. Because when you are applying for a visitor's visa to come to Canada, they are going to ask you whether you have been outside Kenya. Have you ever visited Tanzania? Have you ever visited Uganda? Have you ever visited any place? At least you need to have, you need at least a travel history. So do something. Eric, the job for truck drivers, those ones, those jobs, I think that they, they expired last month. But when I hear of another post for truck drivers, of course, I'm going to come and announce. So don't worry. There's always a next time. That, that job was in uh, that job was in New Brunswick. There's a province called New Brunswick. Keep checking New Brunswick. They're always going to have jobs for drivers. Truck drivers. In case you're wondering which course to do, and you're in Nairobi, you can always go to Thika. Kilimambogo Institute and go and train truck. It's called they are called heavy heavy equipment, the forklift, the the trailers. Those courses are very marketable here. When you have done that course, finding a job here is going to be very easy because remember there are so many mining companies here. So yeah, do that. Do that, guys. Go and train in that Kilimambogo institute i need to go to canada please inbox me yes that is why we are here that is why we are here me have a kenya jobs uh -huh. uh, what i didn't get that question from me bay me bay what did you say i didn't get that question Anasema jobs zinapatikana akiwa anaambiwa mpaka kwa Canada. Oh, most of the jobs. Yeah, that's why I'm saying come as a visitor first. Then what you know before they used to insist that when you come as a visitor you have to go back home. They used to insist that when you come to as a visitor you have to go back home and then apply for for a work permit. But nowadays they have become lenient because of COVID. They are saying that once you're here in Canada you can also apply for for those jobs. Do they take ladies drivers? Of course. Canada. Canada does not discriminate against women. It doesn't. As long as you have skills, they are going to take you. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's see the other question. Do we have supply management? Supply management, it is there, but I can't remember the NOC code. I can't remember which province it is in demand. Because the point here is to find out which province that job is in demand. That is your interest. Your interest should be which province is your job in demand. That is where you start. Then after that, then the rest is going to be very easy. Uh, Joyce, can somebody come as a teacher? No, 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 Canada, no. But US, yes. Lucy, please follow my channel because maybe on Monday I, I have an appointment with someone who is going to come and talk to us how people can go to US as teachers. You guys have heard that teachers are going to the US. Yeah, teachers are going to the US and then somebody is going to come and tell us how teachers are going to the US. And then we can try also that one. For my channel, it's just to help. 
I talk about any opportunity that comes my way. It doesn't matter whether it's in Canada, wherever. I have to release it so that we can have people, some going wherever, all over. I'm an athletic champion. Please, Marathon, please inbox me to talk. Oh, athletics. Yes, I think we need to talk. Can you go and inbox me in Joyce Canada? Joyce Canada on my Facebook. Oh my goodness, there are so many messages there on Facebook. I need to check on, I need to create time and check on all of them. Joyce Canada, Facebook, Joyce Canada. You'll not find any video there, but I, that, I think that is a safe inbox. Joyce Canada, because I'm not on Instagram. I'm there, but I'm not active. But Facebook, I can check. So athletes, how they come, in case you are an athlete, you can talk with your coach, with your, not a coach, with your coach. Once you talk with your coach, he can organize for a group to come to Canada. Maybe for Olympics. Every year there is Olympics. Then once you come here as a group, talk to me. Talk to me. And then we are going to see what is going to be there at that particular time. You know, Canada immigration keeps changing. So by the time you come, talk to me. Uh, work permit. You should be allowed to have a part-time classes. Does she have a visa? James, does she have a visa? Because huh, first of all, I need to I need to know which agency she's using to get a work permit from Kenya. I hope she's not been conned. Guys, don't be conned. Because some of these people that tell you they're going to give you a work permit from Kenya, it's not that. And a work permit, you get it at the border when you're entering Canada. You get a work permit when you're entering Canada, not in Kenya. So I doubt whether the agency she's using is genuine because there are so many con men. Guys, don't allow yourself to, to be conned. What do you require? Oh, in bank statement. Yes, Benson, you require a bank statement. When you're coming here as a visitor, you require a bank statement. And guys, don't use a, a fake bank statement because Canada is not like other countries. Huh. Canada, you don't dare to use a fake document. You're going to be banned from never ever coming to Canada. You'd rather try to apply with your uncle's bank statement or your mom or your friends, but don't use a fake bank statement. They're very strict. So yeah, you need a bank statement to apply and the bank statement is going to be determined by which program you're coming here which program is the one that is going to determine whichever program yeah so have a passport i have a passport diploma holder guide me uh george nyawira are you on my channel for immigration have you picked on which program you want to use to come i would advise you to come as a visitor also name of my channel for immigration is called joyce k nurse canada joyce k nurse canada guys go and check joyce k nurse canada that's the name of my channel for immigration go and check and subscribe also share when you go there let us be kind to each other if you find any information that can help someone Go and share it to your WhatsApp groups. That is the only way to benefit others. All your WhatsApp groups, share, 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 share. That is the only way so that we benefit so many people. Henry, he's asking, is it easy to get accountant job? Accountant jobs are in Saskatchewan. If you are an, an accountant and you have got 10 years work experience, you can apply for provincial nominations for Saskatchewan province. Saskatchewan province. What are the requirements needed to come to Canada? That's out here. Philbert, Chumba. Uh, we are saying that you need to check my channel. It's called Joyce K. Nurse Canada. I talk about immigration and you go and subscribe and then check and share. The secret here is to share. Kuna insurance jobs. Yes, you can insurance job, but they don't employ foreigners. You have to be here. I know a friend of mine from Kenya who does insurance and she's doing very well. She's doing, she's doing, she's selling policy for, 
for old age after retirement. She was trying to convince me, but I don't think I want that. But she's yeah, she's doing insurance. I'm currently at Saudi. Uh, Saudi. How can I come to Canada? What is the requirement? If you're in Saudi Arabia, why can't you go to Qatar? Is there a way you can cross between Qatar and, and Saudi Arabia? If in if in Saudi Arabia, you can go to Qatar or Dubai. Then from there, it's very easy. That's what we are saying. Connect, interconnect. Then um, that's Abdallah. Abdallah, I remember I came with you from the other side. Thank you for following us. Thank you so much. Uh, Udu Banch is saying that my dear Homa caused me to be in Canada from Nigeria. Oh, gosh. Mutembe, you even have people coming from Nigeria here. I know this one has followed me from the other side. Thank you so much. Uh, Udu Banch, I don't know whether I'm spelling nicely. And have a job as I'm an engineer in building. Engineer? What level of engineer are you? Because if you have a degree... You need to check what is your score. Remember, they do those, they do the express entry by scoring. I have done a video on that. So you need to know what is your score so that when you have got like 450 points, you can apply for express entry. If you cannot get 470 points or 450 points, go ahead and apply for provincial nominations. And for the provinces, all that you need to do is to is to get a job offer from the job banks. Uh, Geoffrey Moses, hi Joyce, diploma is in electrical engineering. My uh, my opportunities, uh, any opportunities available, I appreciate. <coughs> um, electrical engineering is in demand, very high demand here. Oh, electrical engineering, it's a hot cake. But you need to know what is your NOC skill, NOC code. NOC code is a classification for your job so that you compare your job in Kenya or whichever country to Canada. I'm a mining engineer. What are the opportunities? How I can I secure? Mining engineer, you, you are a hot kick. What are you doing in Kenya? Mining, like where I live, there are like 30 mining companies. 30. There are so many here. There's one that I visited the day before yesterday. I'm, I'm trying to upload that video and then you're going to see a mining company. It's called Nicole. Guys, can you check a company called Nicole? Nicole International. They employ people from all over the world. Oh, sorry that I have said this before. The, but it's okay. I can say it. I don't have to hide. So I, I'm going to do a video either today or tomorrow. I have already done it just to edit. So there's a company for mining called Nicole Nicole, Canada, Nicole. It's just here. From my house, it's 10 minutes drive. So I'll do that video. Then uh, Baba Precious, he says, I need to come to Canada. Please tell me how I can go about it. That is what we are talking here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Next. Yeah. Mutembei, place the next question. I don't know if Mutembei internet is hanging. So guys, here we are saying that there are so many opportunities for coming to Canada. But the easiest is to come as a visitor. The easiest. Before COVID, there was a group. There were so many groups that came before COVID. And you know what has happened to those guys what has happened is that uh, all those people have now permanent resident because those guys were so lucky oh my goodness what happened is that when they came then covid 19 started in 2020 beginning of 2020 and now the government needed so many people to go and work in the hospitals and in the home cares so all those guys trained they did a course for six months and it was online and you know they had come as visitors so, and they couldn't leave Canada. So the government opened opportunities for people to train, 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 train. So they all got that kind of training for PSW. Then after that, now they, 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 they started working. 
So by the time now the government has started working on their papers, they have one year experience in working as a PSW. So most of them did not even um, process the pathway for, for, for refugee. They, they now have a new pathway that is called um, Canada Experience Class because now they have, they have worked here for one year. So the government is now giving them the, the PR. They are so lucky. They are so, so lucky. And you know, nobody knew about COVID in 2019. We never knew what would happen. But now them, they have benefited. Social work and community development. How old are you? Joseph, social work, I have got jobs for social workers in Germany and Austria. I have done a video on that, Germany and Austria. Go and check that video. If you are below 28 years, 19 and 28. Uh, how easy is it for my hubby who is in Qatar? Let him go to Dubai. Oh, Qatar. Qatar, there is an office there. Those guys are called uh, DM. They are called DM uh, consultant. Let him go there to their offices. Sorry, but he must have a course that he has trained for six months before he comes, before he goes to them. So, guys, we need you to have courses at least for six months. Nimejaribu kukuandikia message through inbox, but it's not going through, please. Uh, Hassan, there's a problem with giving out my number. Because remember, it's, this is public. I cannot come to share my number because there's a hacker that came there's a scammer that came to my other channel and he started telling people that it's me. He came with a, a phone number that looks like for Canada, but it's for US. And he was also using my profile picture. Then he was replying to people's messages and he was telling them to pay $400, $4,000. So guys, it's very risky to put my phone number out here. But you can inbox me on my Facebook page, Joyce Canada. Uh, where in Qatar can I get? Well, if you are in Qatar, look for a for a company called DM Consultant. But before you look for them, come and watch my video I did with a lady whose husband came from Qatar to Canada. It is on my channel. I have called it Jobs in Dubai and Qatar to come to Canada. So go and watch that video before you apply. How hard is it to get a visa? You are in Austria. It's very easy. If you're in Austria, it is very easy. Very, very easy. European countries, it's very easy. Just go to the embassy and tell them you want to come here as a tourist. But you must be having papers for, for, for the European countries. Because if you don't have, then you may need to go back home. If you don't have, you may need to go back to Kenya. Because remember, when you are a visitor in a, in a country, they need you to go back home. Then you can apply for Canada. But you can consult those guys that I'm talking about. But before you consult them, watch that video I have done on my channel so that you understand the whole process before you commit your money. Take time. Take your time and go and watch. That's a uh, red, red Rodney. That one is a scammer. Don't pay. Don't believe them. It's a scammer. There's nothing like that. What is the name of the agency? It's a scammer. There's nothing like that. Heavy equipment operator. What about that profession? Can I apply and get one? Yes. Heavy equipment, you can come and work in the. There are so many jobs for you. Mudoni Magu, I love you, girl. Thank you for coming here to support. Tell them to also check. Oh, yeah, she Mudoni Magu also checked on. I did a video. Yeah, she did a video about Germany with Sally. You can also check her channel. Uh, good. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Omosui Olarinde. I hope I pronounce it well. 
Good evening, Ma. Thank you for information you're giving us. God bless you. I'm from Nigeria. Oh my goodness. Don't leave this channel before you subscribe to Mutembei. Mutembei also loves people from outside Kenya. I want to come to Canada. I have got 15 years experience in electrical engineering. Oh my goodness. Electrical engineering is in demand. Yeah, it is in demand. Can you go and check on my channel which 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 is your NOC code? Go on my channel for immigration. It's called Joyce K Nas Canada. It's not the one written here. No, it's, I, I made a mistake. I, I created, I entered with the channel where I had come from live. But my immigration web channel is called Joyce K Nurse Canada. So DM consultant also called me and asked me for 14,000. No, they are not the one. Huh? Dirams, what are those? I don't know how to extend. 400 no 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 it's not them they it's not them they're scammers remember they're scammers who can call you and they tell you that they're dm because they had me talk about them they're scammers there's no agency who's going to look for you for what you are the one who's supposed to look for them and they charge kenya shillings around two hundred thousand. so be very careful hmm? be very careful so that so that you don't get conned guys i have got a homer i've got a flu so first time to meet you send me your channel details oh my goodness thank you so much my channel details is joyce k nurse canada joyce k nurse canada is my channel go and check when you type that name is going to appear yeah dubai dubai we said to check um GM consultant, yeah. But before you do that, go and watch the video I did about them so that you understand the whole process step by step. I did a video on how you can migrate from Dubai and uh, Austria to Canada. NOC, what does it mean? 2261, I don't know. Unless I check. I, I need to check. Remember, NOCs are so many, so many, like a million. Um, there was also an online course on PSW that you mentioned. Oh, yeah. This, did you do that online course for PSW? It was being done at Toronto University, and it was for free, and I gave a link. And so many people did, and they got um, a certificate. People got certificates. But I think after they realized so many people are doing, maybe they reached the cap, the number that they wanted. It's now it's no longer active. I think I need to go and delete that, that link. Right now it's not active. They have enough people, but I'm sure they are going to, we are going to find another one. But imagine that one was for free and people got certificates. That one was for free. <coughs> that one was for free. So is it possible to come to Canada from Bahrain? Um, are you a citizen there? If you have got papers there, yes, it is possible. But if you are just there to work or for experience or for visitor, go back home first. Hi, Joyce, we're in Dubai and how can we apply from here in Dubai? Yeah, I have said that again and again. Dubai, there are so many agencies. Dubai, even the one I used to come. Guys, remember I came to Canada through an agency. I came to Canada through an agency called Wix. Wix. And Wix, they have got a branch in Kenya, Sarit Center, second floor, Westlands. They also have a branch in Dubai. And they also have an office in India. And they also have an office in, uh, in Canada, Mississauga, they have got five offices i used to them to come to canada so then they are genuine but they also want they also they only want skilled migrants they only want skilled migrants so you need to check on them yeah so uh bachelor of science in disaster risk management maybe you come to study if you come to study then it's good for you I uh, just want to move out of Kenya, joblessness, sucking. 
Yeah, I understand. I feel you. I feel you so much. That's why we are here. We will do anything, anything humanly possible to help people move out of Kenya and find greener pastures if they want. And if you find an opportunity, it doesn't have to be Canada. Go. Leave Kenya first. When you're in Germany, when you're in Austria, when you're in Australia, when you're in whichever country, when you're in Dubai, there is going to be a way after that. As long as you keep following my channel, because every time I, I upload a video every day, every day, and every day I have got content for you. So there's a way. There has to be a way. Job opportunity for medical lab. Medical lab as an international, I don't know. International for medical lab can be very tricky. Very, very tricky. Maybe you come to study. Uh, suppose you do a palliative care in Canada. Will you get registered as a nurse over there and until you get a degree? Uh, you, I know you're asking about Niagara College. I have done a video on Niagara College. They do palliative. It's a good one. It's a good pathway. It's a good pathway. You can try it. I have seen people use it. But remember, after doing palliative, you don't qualify to get a, a, a nursing license to practice. You don't. You don't. You cannot. So uh, it's another journey that I have talked about on my channel. It's a, it's a long journey. For the nurses, the easiest route is to go to either UK. UK is between four months to six months. And but the only challenge to go to UK is that um, once when you go to UK, um, getting your citizenship is very tricky. It's a, it's one of the countries that are so mean to give uh, citizenship. But if you go to US, if you go to US as a nurse, when you're leaving your home country, you're going to leave your home country with um um citizenship not citizenship um yeah in form of a green card a green card and a and a and a license to practice and a job i have done a video on nurses to migrate to the us so if you are a nurse you need to go i think we are only going to check two more questions then i ran somewhere that i just re received a reminder that i should go uh how much do I need to pay for a visit visa? 8,000 Kenya shillings. 8,000 Kenya shillings. Can a foreigner join their military? No, a foreigner cannot join their military. You have to be a permanent resident or a citizen. I have a degree in agriculture, education, and extension. Do I stand a chance to work there? Agriculture, education. There are so many opportunities for agriculture. But you need to check what is your NOC code. What is your code? So that we look. You know, when you know your NOC code and which province it is in demand, that is the easiest way. IT is in demand. Oh, IT check Ontario and Quebec. Right now we have a program for IT. It's not closed. It's there. IT, it's open. That one for sure I know. For a refugee living in Kenya, Nini in an Natakikana ndiyo mtu apate hizo opportunities. Oh, wewe ni wa from Rwanda, ama Burundi, I can see that. There's a guy who came here from Kenya. He used UNHCR. UNHCR, they're in Westlands. Opposite, uh, oppo is it opposite Safaricom? The old Safaricom. UNHCR, look for UNHCR. There's Google map nowadays. Then UNHCR is going to get you a sponsor in Canada. Once you have a sponsor, then oh, that's all that you need. <coughs> Even people in Dadab and Kakuma, they are waiting to find sponsors. Once they have a sponsor, that's all. So, Mutembe, you are a selective to the questions. Oh, my goodness. That's Apa Kunavita. How can I apply for scholarships in PhD in fra in finance? Gosh, scholarship! You, what are you doing there? Can you come here, finance? Cindy, go and watch a video I have done for scholarships. There's a guy here who came and did a video. He's called Pascal. P 
Pascal Oke. He's a Nigerian. He came to Canada with scholarship. So there's a day I invited him to my channel to come and talk to people about scholarships. And he did a very good job. I have also done a video on, on, on the scholarships available for Canada. So go and watch and apply. PhD in finance, apply. Follow those steps and you will get a scholarship. Uh, be calm and not experienced fields. I am in the informal sector. Oh, Bachelor of Commerce. Bachelor of Commerce. Yeah, you can look for job offers. They are there. BSc, public health. Any qualifications? Public health is very tricky because remember, for you to be what, like now I'm doing a master's in public health myself online. So for you to become a pub, to become a public health here in Canada, you need first of all to be a nurse. You need to be a nurse and to have a license or a doctor. So it's not like other countries where anybody can become a public health. So it's very tricky for public health. Unless you come now and study, you can come here to do masters in public health or an, an a postgraduate in public health. Are you an immigration agent? No, I'm not. I'm not an agent yet, and I don't think I want to become one. It's very, very tricky, but I'm praying. Mutembe is praying for me to see whether I can become one. <laughs> so do you think I would get a job as a nurse aid with no experience? No, you cannot. You need the experience. I'm here for the first time. So informative. Oh, thank you, Terim Kenya. Make sure that you go check my channel. It's called Joyce K Nurse Canada. Joyce K Nurse Canada. You're going to find so much information. Joyce K Nurse Canada. Then, hello, Joyce. Niliskia at in Alberta Kuna Dairy Farm and Poultry Companies. Yes, Zico. I'll uh, send a link. There's a Filipino, my work. Um, Unajua Filipino, Simon Muturi. Filipino have got a, an agreement with the government of Canada to bring their people to come here and work in the farms. Kenya, we don't have that yet. Maybe I'm going to go to Uhuru and, and <laughs> when I look for an opportunity. Mutembe, will you take me to Uhuru? I'm a Ruto. Uh, kuja, kuja. Then we tell him that we need such an agreement for our people to come. Any job opportunity? Accounting. I have six years experience in bachelor's. Finance, I said, check Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan province. I have a daughter in Vietnam. She's kindergarten teacher. She needs to come to Canada, but she doesn't have any link. Teacher ni tricky because she needs a license. Unless she come to study. Tell her to come and study special needs, education, early child education, one year program, then from that is going to be good. I think we are checking the last one now. I'm in Qatar from Kenya. How can I get in Canada for warehouse specialists? Oh, those jobs are so many. Myself, I'm starting a warehouse, by the way. Oh, sorry, I announced here. I'm going to start a warehouse. I'm working on it. So follow me. Follow me. <laughs> and then when yeah. Mutembe comes here, we are going to work together. What I want, I want to be collecting used clothes, Mutumba. And then I pack them and then I send them to Kenya. So there's also business in Canada. Sasa Kuna jama aliko lakua UK, anasema na pakule pa msichana hake huko. Eh. So I was a Rikwala Uliza, which, which one year program Riko Mesema? Ati Jakupata? Mepatea? Just sound in the end. Sound, sound. Bando. 
Ah, na una tu, na una tu, Juan Lips, que uliza mate, a tus que. What do we now? Si you quit, then you will be back, come on. Quit, then you will be back, Marizia. Wale 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 mnataka sponsor wa Canada si sponsor wa Kenya. Sandi yangu lazima iko. Mimi ndio lazima. Because I like to go to So guys, na unanjoy sa mepotea, ni kama meti yake meharibika. I think we can wait for a hatajibu hizi maswali zingine na una hapa on Saturday. I can see so many questions as in one ya kikuja. So, mngoje Saturday. Mngoje Saturday. Work on the sound. Sound in the proposal. See where I'm going to carry it because I need it. 
alikuwa unmuted but bado you can't hear the sound so wale wamesaindika wamesaindika i end one question iko nataka ijibiwe Anji Anji nataka kujua niko wapi leo <laughs> Ni komsiki, ni komsiki leo. Ndiyo maana siongei sana. I'm very sick. Niko na homa ingine ilikuwa ilikuwa shetani. That's the problem. So guys, thank you and bye. To meet Saturday tena. Una ataka kujoy live? About Canada. Si tukatei then tukuja live na politics. Thank you, thank you. Good night guys. <laughs>